Hi everyone, it's Desert Rose. Um, this video is going to be me showing you guys the progress of my nightstand altar. So, John's here. He's on his side. So, we have the same nightstand and um, it's really convenient. There's this space right here because I usually have my laptop and we got this from Goodwill and we washed it. These are seat covers. I kept them together because they're corded up like that. But it's nice to have the laptop be uh, up more and I use this for when I'm sitting on the floor too so it's more comfy and my laptop just goes on top of here. So I'll start from the top and I'll work my way down. So this light we have on the other side. So um, we have two of them and this is a necklace that Mary made She's Mary Bo on YouTube, and she's another reader, and she does arts and crafts on her channel, too. So, I think that this is perfect because it has success on it. If you could see the pendant there. And uh, when we got this, well, when I got it in the mail, John and I were looking at dream catchers to have over our bed but we didn't see any ones that we were that we were both interested in so we didn't get any of them so i'm really happy that she surprised me with this when we did a trade i was supposed to post it but then i ended up not posting it um i'm i may do it in the future because we were i keep saying we i was waiting on another trade and I decided not to put the one up for Mary because I was going to do them together so I'll do that one too I got this from a store in the mall around here and I love the Celtic astrology there's a back to it my my druid animal is the butterfly and my plan is Ivy. I did this right before I did this video because I wanted to show the progress and I wanted to include this. So this is, this card's from the Terror of the Nymphs. Uh, I love this deck. And I made these measurements out for the two holes because, um, I actually brought this one down just slightly a little more so it looks a little uneven when I take it off but when I put the card back on it is even. So I wanted it to be um, so a smaller card like a low scare Bayo card would be able to fit on there oh, and I, I'm trying to do it with one hand but I, it does stay up guys. So. I could put that card up or that those types of cards up but what I really wanted to do was use these goddesses knowledge cards that I also got from Mary in a trade and so this was my first card draw from this deck. And then I usually pull out three, one from the bottom and one from the top. So I got Artemis and the triple goddess is at the bottom. So if you hear barking or more talking, it's Lakota. I'm just trying to get the other card out if I could find it on time. Or so it's not too long of a video. This was my card of the day. So what I would do is I would put the card up here or whatever card 
I would choose to and um, I could reflect on it and I would just, uh, it, it serves as more of a reminder throughout the day which is nice. I'm not sure if I would keep the Terror of the Nymphs up there very much right now because I've been using it a lot. So I was thinking about putting another nail but I think it's fine. I don't want to put too many nails in the wall. So this was a gift from my old neighbor Sherry. She, her and her husband helped me a lot. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not even looking um, at that. They helped me a lot while I was living in New England. Um, they were they were like my second parents or like other parents because my godmother is also like another parent to me. But she picked this out and she also, I'm sorry, I dyed my hair recently. She um, got me a cinnamon broom and that was so sweet. I still have the broom, it's actually in my witchy room, so it's like my favorite. I couldn't leave it at my, well, um, I was staying at one of my dad's properties uh, back in my hometown, so I did leave stuff there, but I made sure to bring this. So this is the Morgan plaque that I have. I bring this also, I, I do have a wooden box, a flat wooden box that is an intrusive like in case I have a lot of stuff. Um, I bring this plaque in that and as well as like other things that I can make an altar with. So it's like my portable altar um, with the Morgan and I have her main altar in the witchy room. And Lakota's playing so if you hear him. <laughs> He's louder, and he has an incredibly deep voice, so he's not, like, growling or anything. So this is, well, this was John's lamp, but then he didn't really want to use it. I took off, there was some, like, it, it's, um, it's not fuzzy, but it's, like, stringy. I don't know what you call it, but it kind of looks like fur only made out of string, if you guys uh, can visualize that. But I, I didn't really like it, so I took it off. These are some feathers. There's other feathers. I'm not going to play with it too much, but it's attached from the back. And I put this here because um, I used to put feathers in my hair, but my hair is different now than it was when I used to do that. And now it's too much, so I just leave them there. These are my newer ones. I, I do have other ones. But this is a... A reserved acorn necklace. I, I made a different cording out of it. It's not anything special, but I thought it suited the acorn more. So I, I like the lamp a lot more now that I took off the string. If you could see that it was like that type of string. So down here, we ha I have some fairy lights or glimmer lights. Um, so, in case like I want extra light, which a lot of times I do when I'm filming something, I put these on. I'm sorry if they're really bright, but it, it helps. So, I really like that. Um, down here, I have my storage so now these hold more of crystals I have my herbs which I'm an herbalist I mainly use herbs in there in my witchy room because I have a lot more of that and they wouldn't fit here but um I don't use crystals as much I'm gonna do a video about it and I also have some jewelry here So, my bigger ones are at the bottom. This one opens up, and here, it opens up here, 
and uh, my favorite is sorry it's not that one it's this one this was given to me by John it's an emerald and it's a high quality one I'm hoping that it focuses yeah so it's a deep green and I, I love it deep forest green and the this one is a moonstone in case you guys are wondering so over here I have a candle I like this candle a lot so this, I, I just turn it around because I don't like stuff too busy, is for the fire signs. I'm a Libra, but John is a fire sign. He's a Leo. And we're using each other's. This one smells like like um, actual burning. So it's, it's the scent of it burning. <laughs> if you guys, uh, if, if that makes sense. And it has a nice clean smell. And I just smelled it really close to my face and there's hair on it. <laughs> this was a, a rock that we got from the beach. This has shell, These ha this rock has shells in it and it's made out of sand too. I hope it could focus. There you go. So I thought that was really cool. Um, I'm more of a forest dweller, but I live, I currently live near the ocean or in the beachy area. So I, I do love all types of nature. I'll be moving back up north soon. So this is my tree. I love this tree. I actually went back to get it. This is from Joann's. And they had a really big sale. It was, well, it was near Memorial Day. It was, yeah, it was around Memorial Day weekend. And the nature stuff, like the fairy stuff, that I think that's what they called it, it um, it's a different name for the brand, but they were having like 65% off and then on top of that 75% off So I got this for really cheap and I thought it would look perfect on my Nightstand because I never I haven't seen anything like it So I have decks. I got this idea from Mary I'm so happy that I found one that I re I'm really into so this is a deep um It's a de burgundy, I want to say. And it's so beautiful. I love the roses. I think it really suits me. So, by the way, my my name is like... Uh, it's like play on words. So, I'll get into that in another video. But this holds my Dreams of Gaia Tarot. Then I have an animal deck out. I have two animal decks, but this is a more of a traditional tarot deck. This holds my mystical cat's tarot. And I love the bags. These I made these um, from the Joanne Fabrics. Joanne Dash Fabrics, because they don't have fabrics in their name, I heard. Um... So, over here, uh, by the way, I got this from the, I got it from the local Goodwill. And over here I have the Living Earth Tarot. This is the paper that it came with, and that's the back of the cards. These are the backs of cards. And then I have my... Wolf Pack Tarot, which is more of like a 
non-traditional fortune telling type of deck and I'll do a video on that um this I got from the mall there aren't a lot of places to get witchy stuff down here and um I'm bummed about it, but I do have a lot of stuff, so I don't need it at the moment. Well, I don't need it because I do have a lot of stuff, but I got this one at the mall. This is the Tarot of the Secret Forest. Sorry, I was thinking if I should show you guys the decks, but I have a, quite a few things to show. So it's colored on one side and not colored on the other side. It's a dark colored sepia tone deck and that's that card doesn't have a lot of color um, or noticeable colors. So there's that one. I was surprised I actually used, well I'm not that surprised because I did choose specific cloths that I knew I would connect to and that would really complement the decks. This one is the Authorian Tarot. I didn't make this bag. Oh, I feel like the color changed. And this is the Tarot of the Hidden Realm. And I love this bag. I have a story that goes with this bag. And I also um, have this for one other deck, the Wild Wisdom of the Fairy Oracle. And that really goes with the story. I, I told it in the comparison video. This one had the Goddess's Knowledge card, so that's what it would be. I'm not sure if turning on this would be better. It's a little glary. I think I like it without it, but it does have more light, so I'll keep it on. I just did a video on this deck, the Terror of the Nymphs. I love this deck. It's definitely a soul deck of mine. This is my was my first oracle deck healing with the fairies and this is by the same creator as the dreams of Gaia the messenger oracle this is such ha this has such a nice energy both her decks do so I'm gonna show you guys my oh, look at the bottom I kind of cleared this area out because, uh, well, I wanted to show it and I did have quite a few things surrounding it, so I'm just trying not to step on it or carefully showing the stuff. So these were hand, this was a hand-me-down desk and it from John's grandmother. But then we picked it up from his mom and then we got it here. Uh, we brought it here. So in here I have a couple of things. I'm not going to go through everything. But this has the Flowers of the Night Oracle. My first Mother's Day card because I'm a pet mom. This goes to the desk, but we don't have uh, all the pieces to put together. So pens, markers, this is for edging I use sometimes. This is a guidebook. I have some incense in here. These are the Saraswati. Saraswati. And these smell like perfume, like a feminine perfume, but not too sweet. The Osho Zen, I love this deck. I have a couple of 
bookmarks too. So this one, the Hermione one. Sorry, this isn't this wasn't supposed to be that long of a video. This is the free spirit follows the path of the lone wolf. And I'm near the dog, so I really love that. But I'm more of like a cat person. It's strange. This one is We Are Stardust Meant to Shine. I love all these. So I picked them out from Barnes and Noble. And the lighter to light the incense. So. I have a chest here, some books. This I write mm, different things in. Recently I've been writing my YouTube stuff in here. Because I've recently been starting making some notes, not a lot, on things. And it also has my certification checklist for my tarot school or tarot readers academy. I've, I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> As a person that's like practically sleeps with the deck, I love it. So I got this in a trade too, and I'll put that in the video. I'm not going to go too much into it. One of my old faithful books. I've had it for a long time. Medicine cards, um, sacred path cards. This, these are filled with like notes and highlighting. Uh, not going to get into that because it's from a trade. But Animal Speak, I have two copies of this one. And then I have the newer edition. I love the books by Ted Andrews. This is the Southeast Florida, Florida Keys and Everglades National Park Guide to Common Native Species. This goes by color too, which is nice. Sometimes I keep this in my bag. And the more muted colors are in the back, uh, the white ones, and the paler ones. So I'm just going to keep going. I do have the Fairies Oracle here too, and another notebook that I've had for a really long time. So I'll put these away after the video, because uh, just trying to make this a little quicker so I have a chest here it's John's chest that I'm using for more of my everyday tarot decks I have more in my closet this is my closet and on the top it says leprechaun leprechaun crossing I've had that for a while and I love leprechauns they were the first uh, from the fairy realm to reveal themselves to me that was really noticeable so these are a couple of my decks again so thank you guys so much for watching I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in another video bye